Hey there, welcome to, well, the second floor of my home. In this video, I wanna show you how to build this in the wall bookshelf that's actually essentially covering ductwork that goes from this side to the other that heat and cools our home. This video is really to inspire you, to show you how I did it. It's not necessarily a step-by-step -step video or, or even really an instructional video, but just to show you what I did and maybe you can learn something from it or this will give you ideas for your own home. So stick around. Okay, so I got you up here in the room. This room is going to actually be a kid's playroom. So uh, we're going to paint this place white. But as you can see, it's a really dark blue. So what I'm going to start with first is putting a nice primer on it and then go ahead and paint it white. It's going to be much easier to do that now versus later because later on with these shelves in there, it would be a lot of cutting in. So right now, I can cover the wall up real good. I'm going to work on that and then I'm going to start designing and figuring out what we're going to do with the shelves. So I'm jumping right along really well, but I want to show you a quick tip is that if you're trying to make a shelf the same distance apart from another shelf, cut yourself two boards that are the same uh, length. So these are both 12 inches and put them on either side of your side of the shelf. Take the board you're using for your shelf and go ahead and push that in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to support your shelf while either you're, you're going to put the uh, support pieces in with like your screws or whatever and it gives you a good eyeball to show you what it's going to look like before you run it in and you don't have to sit there and try to hold the thing.
That's that. That is how I made this bookshelf. Uh, it turned out really good. I'm really well pleased. My daughter loves it as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, maybe some suggestions you would have had, or even if this inspired you to do the same thing in your home. But as I always say, I'll see you next time down in my workshop. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.